getting dark. I uh, have to go to help the mechanical intimidator with some machining. So we're going to do an inspection of the spray foam. Um, they finished up probably about an hour and a half ago. So let's see how they did. I will be using a two inch screw to check thickness and uniformity. So the doors turned out excellent um, from the top to the bottom. Very happy with them. There was some overspray on the sills and at the top and in the bottom, but overall it turned out pretty good. As we're going through there, I'm not sure if this is gonna show up or not on the video, but I did have some spots on here that are still tacky. Not for sure if the chemical reaction did not take place correctly. It was roughly, you know, 70-ish degrees today. I hopefully that did not cause any problems with the application. So, as we check the thickness on the door here, we've got about an inch worth of coverage here. Very happy with that. So, we will continue on down the wall here and look at the wall. As I've mentioned, I have some applications here where they did not cure. I'm gonna monitor those tomorrow and then see if that actually dries out. If not, I'm going to give the guy a call. The wall's pretty uniform. Very happy with the way that they turned out. Thickness looks good. It goes all the way up to the wires that run all the way through there. So if we go and we check the thickness on the walls, the screw head almost goes all the way into the foam. So it turned out pretty good. We got about two inches worth of coverage in there. Here's some more spots, kind of examples here of where the, the uh, stuff did not cure all the way. And I will check that tomorrow. The floor, we did get a little bit of overspray on the floor. So if you have any experience getting spray foam off of wood floors, please leave me a message on what chemicals or processes you use to get that off because I would like to try that. We're gonna keep on going down here to the door. The door they masked off, it turned out great. Good coverage all the way around. You kind of see if you look all the way down the wall, they did an excellent job. It is very uniform. The only things of concern on the walls is the fact that we do have some spots like you'll see over here that have not cured yet. So we'll see how that goes. I might give the guy a call just to get his input on it, um, but I'm just gonna monitor it. So when you go to the ceiling, it looks a little different than the walls. It looks like it is not as thick on the ceiling as what it is on the walls. So I'm gonna check a couple of spots here and see how it turned out. So we'll go up the ladder here. And we'll check a couple of spots. So on the ceiling, I'm only getting about an inch worth of coverage, maybe an inch and a quarter, um, which I don't know if that's a concern or not, because an inch of spray foam is still pretty good, but it's definitely not the two inches um, that, it was, that I was asking for. So I might talk to him a little bit about the coverage on the roof, but the walls look great. I've seen about on average about an inch over the walls. And then I don't know if you can see the crack up there or not, but you can actually see that there are spots to where the two by four is interfacing with the roof of the container that uh, it didn't quite get enough thickness up there. So um, roof is you know pretty uniform like the sides, just not as thick. Looking at about an inch on average on the roof. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, they did a great job, they cleaned up. They went back and they scraped all of the two by fours in here. There is some additional scraping that I'll probably have to do on the top corners as I put the uh, plywood up and I do the outside of that. So, but overall, pretty happy with the way things turned out. So tomorrow I'm gonna check the spots. It didn't seem like they've dried all the way. If they didn't, I'm gonna give the guy a call. And when I talk to him, I might just talk to him about the inch on the roof. So um, I don't really think it's a, a huge deal, but um, just a little bit concerned that it's thin in spots. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Um, the next videos will be finishing out the electrical, finishing out the walls and installing the AC and then I'll do a shop tour at the end. So thanks for watching. Day two inspection on the container. So let's check out the foam, see how it's going. So here's a spot up here. Still tacky. Uh, it looks pretty good there. And uh, there's a couple of spots around here, like down here. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's still tacky as well. So looks like these areas didn't set up. I'm gonna give the guy a call, see what he wants to do about it, and also talk to him about the thin spots on the roof. So wish me luck.